So all right peeps here this is the latest Arrow S13.1 for my Redmi Note 10 and I have been using it from the last one week and I am surprised to see that this is the perfect stable smooth ROM for Redmi Note 10 right now in the 2023 April. So if you want to get try out this you must watch this video until the last and then decide to subscribe or not to this channel. So let's get started. So guys, first of all, I would like to talk about the smoothness of this custom ROM. I have checked out all the custom ROMs over the Redmi Note 10 for past few months and I found that this is the pretty smooth custom ROM without any lag over the stutters, any type of lag. You all know that it comes with a 60Hz display but it provides damn killer smoothness over there. So in terms of smoothness, I will give it to 10 to 10 out of 10. So now talking about the stability of this custom ROM, the custom ROM does provide a much better stability over the performance of the device. No stutter lag even if you have at 2% of the battery you gonna face so far. Now those people who talk to me about the customization, we know that ROS does not provide much of bit customizations in their devices at all. So you don't expect much of the customizations in this custom ROM as for now. And the normal customizations they do offer in the gestures, some of things like this, you can see that over there. Nothing new has been added so far. Now talking about the device centric things, so I have took some of the benchmarks of this device. So I would like to uh, share the screenshots of that. First of all, those who are asking about the security level of DRM certification, it's L1. So you are not getting any issues over the Netflix Full HD content. If you have that Full HD content subscription, you can watch the Netflix and Prime without any issues. And now you are asking me about the safety net, it does pass with the, uh, what do you say, CTS profiles also passed over there. Now talking about the device certification of the Play Store and I have checked it also over there and you can see that the device is being certified over there. Now if you talk me about other uh, performance that I have took so far. And this is what I would like to give this CPU throttling test result. It provides max 149 GP IPS. The minimum is so bad. But I can say that I have run this only one time. But it does not mean that the performance is not of the good of the device. Maybe there is a time of summer. That's why the throttle has been reported so far. But the scores are pretty good. Not bad. Now talking about that. You all know that there is a new UI that is being laid out over there. Whole green monitor things were working fine over there without any issues in this device. Now talking about that, you all can see that Play Store has also full monitor support over this room. And you can see that the new uh, clock icon animation is also present over the new QPPR 2.1 changes over there. Now let me start from the network internet settings. So I have no issues with the network internet settings so far. The call quality, call reception and the uh, there is any bug of call cuttings also present in this custom room as far as I can tell you. Now if you talk me about the Wi-Fi, I have the 100 Mps of connection and I am getting the full 100 Mps support over device. Both 2.4 and 5 GHz fans were supporting. Now this is a battery section and I am fully impressed with the battery usage and I can give 9 out of 10 in the battery charging and battery uses also. I get generally 9 over of SOT over the battery. So this is damn good. You get the battery's percentage option over there. You can clearly see it over there. This is the kernel profiles option. You can also set it to the balanced and performance. But I don't think so that it creates a major performance over there. Now talking about this. The sound and vibration option there, volume panel on the left option is been there, but no mini sound enhancer has been provided. You can flash the NX camera, but you need to flash a magic module first of all. And this is the as usual things, always on display is also present over there. And this is normal things, and uh, you can see the customization part, network traffic indicator is also present over there. Display feature like DC diving and anti flicker mode is also present over there and you can see the brightness got so much high that you can't see wallpaper and theming styles over there and everything is present like font shape you can arrange your shape there is no lag over there if i generally change to theme icon it is gets totally changed in a while also 
getting the too much themed palettes like if I generally change to blue you can see that it totally gets changed over there also so there isn't any issue of that theming icons also now talking about the accessibility section all the things were present so far and the systems option you can get the gestures and I can say everything is working fine nothing is new now this is the updater it comes and you gonna not face any of the issue you can manually update over there but in my recommendation please flash a clean flash to avoid some bugs and lags so far so this is about phone section and if I like to share you this is based on Android 13 and Android iOS version is 13.1 so you can expect this is the latest build over there and device is sunny as you can see there we got a 5th April latest security patch over there and the kernel version is Netrunner's ROS kernel and the build date is Sunday April 16th so this is my full and final review of the ROS and I have been completed each and everything aspect of this video now what I could recommend or this I can highly recommend this custom ROM this is this ROM can 100% uh, if you avoid the what do you say camera and few things this is a hundred percent perfect row for your day to do usage even that banking apps does find work over there and the battery is also top notch in this custom room so I can highly recommend this room if you like this sort of, sort of reviews then please 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 subscribe to this channel and give a thumbs up to this video so if you really enjoyed then I, if you really enjoyed I will gonna meet you in the next video till then bye bye